Hey, so you're trying to connect your domain to your Wix website? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that with the settings. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's go. Boom, so essentially you wanna go to your settings window as before, you wanna go to your Wix settings. So you can find your settings on the dashboard on the left hand side, hit settings, hit domains. Simple, so simple. So, 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 so simple. Right, and then you just want to enter your domain name. So, whatever the the domain name that you've purchased, you can purchase it anywhere, anywhere on the web, anywhere on the internet. If you purchase the domain, you'll be able to insert that here, and you'll be able to link them. Again, if you purchase on the outside vendor party or something like that, like uh, I, there's times you can go purchase through Google or things like that. If you purchase that way, you can link it. It's going to take a little bit of process, a little bit of troubleshooting. So if you're having trouble doing that, make sure you comment below, like, how do I link here? Or how do I link these two together? And we'll figure it out. Or if, at minimum, have, have, have the community help you figure it out as far as just leaving a comment below because there are a lot of different links out there especially through Wix that'll show you exactly how to do it uh, and link that link that up so with that being said um, you just enter your website so my I mean you, you enter your you, you enter your domain once you enter your your, your domain name I keep saying URL your, your domain name then you can then you can find it so I'm gonna put let's go I'm not sure what's gonna happen it's telling me that that domain is available so essentially this is basically saying and I because I spelled it wrong this is basically saying my that you can look for a domain as well so if you have an idea for a domain yeah you can look for a domain as well. So if it's available, it'll allow you to purchase right here, right now on this site, right? If you want to do it, just hit get it and you could just hit get it and and purchase the domain. Now the domain does come with one of the plans that we talked about in the previous lesson. So again, if you find a domain that is not taken, you can purchase it right here so you don't have to try to link it through another third party so you can purchase it right here that's the easy way to do it so, but if you're if you are you might which more more than likely there are a, lot, a good amount of clients that i work with they they tried to go the alternate route by having somebody build their site out and they built it on some you know some platform that is kind of like i don't know about it and they're trying to figure it out well now this is how you do it for yourself and you can essentially do that now if you have your domain through some a good a good uh, hosting site is like GoDaddy if you have your domain through GoDaddy or something like that you would have to be able to link them between the two and that's where you would just simply just go to help go to the help help desk and say how do I link my domain through I'm trying to see if, if there's a Can I use already? Can I use a domain I already have? Yes. Once you have upgraded the premium plan, you can connect your domain you bought somewhere else by updating your domain setting. We'll walk you through it, right? So simply like that. Once you get to the premium premium plan, <coughs> once you get to the premium plan, you can do pretty much all of that, right? So that's essentially how you do your domain settings in your settings. Simple. Boom, so that's exactly how you set up your domain in your Wix settings. It's really that simple. Like once you already have an idea of your domain, just go ahead and insert, go to settings, go to my domain, insert your domain, hit go. If it's available, you can hit to the purchase it if you, are, if you haven't already purchased your plan. But if you already purchased your plan, you just hit accept it. It'll automatically do everything for you. It's so simple, so easy. So with that being said, hopefully you found value in this. Hopefully this helped you through one more hurdle towards your goal. And I will see you all in the next lesson. But don't forget to like, 
this video so people who are looking to set up their domain and figure out how to accept their domain through Wix, they'll know exactly how to do it just like you did just now. And with that being said, subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we drop another video on the settings and on how to set up Wix and all the other content that we create for our channel. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next lesson. Later, y'all. Peace.